The 19th Amendment was ratified on August 18th, 1920. The most exciting and gem of the exhibit is the 19th Amendment, uh, which I think uh, visitors will be really excited to come and see. It'll be especially powerful being displayed alongside the Tennessee ratification as well as the Secretary of State certification. Rightfully Hers is organized into five sections. Each section of the exhibit asks a question. Who decides who votes? Why do women fight for the vote? How do women win the 19th Amendment? what was the 19th Amendment's impact, and what voting rights struggles persist. We have a number of original records signed by some of the most well-known suffragists from the movement, including Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and Lucy Stone, among many others. We have a collection of uniforms that women wore when they served in the Red Cross during World War I that we use to talk about the role that the war played in the struggle for women's voting rights. Another item in the exhibit is a suffrage banner that we're borrowing for the exhibition that was used by suffragists when they were parading and picketing the White House for their voting rights. And we also have some rare footage of suffragists marching and protesting alongside that. The exhibit has several interactives and dynamic elements throughout the exhibit that really help to bring this story to life and also give the visitor the opportunity to engage and interact with the subject matter of the exhibit. If women's voting rights is a topic that you're interested in or something you want to share with your family, there's lots of museums in the Washington, D.C. area that are opening exhibits in celebration of this important anniversary. But of course, the 19th Amendment will only be at the National Archives.